Brothers and sisters, we have limited time to discuss the things related to the deuterocanonical books. However, we will try to impart the little knowledge that we have and provide answers to attacks of some people against the deuterocanonical books. Here are some questions and attacks on the deuterocanonical books. Number one, the Catholic Church only invented the deuterocanonical books. The accusation against the Catholic Church is not true. First, the Septuagint existed even before the Catholic Church was established. So, it is impossible for the Catholic Church to invent these books. Sirach, Tobit, and Second Maccabees are Jewish compositions, all translated into Greek during the Second Temple period. Second, the fragments of the book of Sirach and Tobit were discovered at the Qumran cave. Five manuscripts of Tobit were discovered in cave 4 at Qumran. The question is, did Catholics put them there? Third, the deuterocanonical books are in early major onshal manuscripts. Look carefully at the screen. The deuterocanonical books are in Codex Vaticanus, Codex Sinaiticus, Codex Alexandrinus, Codex Claromontanus, Codex Vinitus, and other early manuscripts. This was shared with me by a friend, Protestant scholar, Dr. Leigh Martin MacDonald. Number two, according to anti-Catholics, the deuterocanonical books are being referred to in Revelation chapter 22 verse 18. The allegation that the deuterocanonical books were referred to in Revelation chapter 22 verse 18 is not true. The verse refers to the scribes who added comments to the manuscripts. In the book written by Protestant scholar Dr. Bruce Mitzger entitled Breaking the Cold, Understanding the Book of Revelation, he clearly stated when books were copied by hand, scribes would occasionally add comments of their own or leave out words they thought were unsuitable. Some of those who attack the deuterocanonical books are Protestants who use the King James Version. Do our friends know that this Bible version contains extra verses, phrases, and words? On page 7 of the book, written by Protestant scholar Dr. Philip Comport entitled A Commentary on Textual Additions to the New Testament, he clearly stated the King James Version based on the Textus Receptus have all these extra verses, praises, and words. Number three, anti-Catholics said that they rejected the deuterocanonical books since these were also rejected by the Jews. In our analysis, we learn that not all Jews rejected the deuterocanonical books. Those who did were the Jews from the East. The Jews in the East were those in Palestine and Babylonia. They were the Aramaic-speaking Jews. The Jews who rejected the Lord Jesus were the leaders of the Jews in Jerusalem and other places in their ministry in Palestine. The Jews in the West are in Asia Minor, Egypt, and Europe, and called the Greek-speaking Jews. They did not reject the books revived by the Jews in the East. In the book of Dr. Leigh Martin MacDonald, he mentioned two groups of Jews. Jews in the Western Diaspora and the Rabbinic Jews in the East. Also, it is not true that only the deuterocanonical books were rejected by the Jews in the East. They also rejected the Greek translation of the Pentateuch. This was proven by Dr. Leigh Martin MacDonald on page 89 of his book, The Origin of the Bible, A Guide for the Perplexed. This is what is written. Those in the West continued for centuries to affirm the scriptures of the Septuagint that contain books from the Apocrypha and Sudipigrapha, but those books and even the Greek translation of the Pentateuch were rejected by many Jews in the East. Number four, anti-Catholics reject the deuterocanonical books since these were also rejected by Martin Luther. The book 
The Canon Debate, edited by Protestant scholars Dr. Lay Martin MacDonald and Dr. James Sanders, states on 205 that with regard to the Apocrypha, Luther's judgment was shaped to some extent by the theological controversy about the doctrines of purgatory and praying for the dead, which were traditionally based on 2 Maccabees chapter 12 verses 45 to 46. He appealed to Jerome's distinction between the canonical books and the Apocrypha and to his principle that these books should not be used for establishing ecclesiastical doctrines. Even the Protestant scholar, Dr. Ray Martin MacDonald, admitted that some books in the New Testament cannot be accepted by Martin Luther. This is what we can read. Martin Luther rejected several New Testament books, namely Hebrews, James, Jude, and Revelation, though he included them at the, at the end of his New Testament. For him, they added nothing to Christian doctrine and were even contrary to essential Christian teaching. Number five, anti-Catholics believe that the canonization of the deuterocanonical books happened only during the Council of Trent in 1546. Most scholars today would agree that there are no less of what books belong to the canon that are clearly datable and officially accepted until the 4th century AD. That does not mean people did not have a working idea of what was and was not Christian Bible until then. Some of the great fathers of the church, St. Irenaeus, for example, writing around 185 AD, or the great biblical scholar, origin in the 230s and 240s certainly had a working canon in mind. They knew what books were generally accepted by the Christian churches as the Word of God. What happened in the 4th century AD at some local councils in both the East and the West, like the African Council at uh, Carthage in 397 AD, is that the regional churches actually made official list of what books belong to the Holy Scripture. A Greek local council at Laodicea around 368 AD had also done this. And uh, individual theologians like uh, St. Athanasius, as well as Pope Damas, uh, as well as 4th century Pope Damasus grew up official list too. The whole question of the canon became a point of argument again in the 16th century when Martin Luther and some of his followers who wanted to emphasize the importance of the biblical text learned Hebrew and uh, made new vernacular translations of the Old Testament from the Bible the Jewish communities were using. That did not include some books that had only come down in the Greek Septuagint and the Vulgate. It was in the response to them that the Council of Trent in 1546 put together its decree on sacred scripture, which includes a listing of the recognized Catholic canon. Deuterocanonicals are not the same as Apocrypha. Deuterocanonicals are in manuscripts of Septuagint. And Deuterocanonicals were not inserted by the Catholic Church in the Bible during the 16th century Council of Trent just to support the Church's doctrine. 